Welcome to another video on the HB Prime. Today I'd like to share with you how I use the Advanced Graphing app to create contour plots. So let's go ahead and take a look at the symbolic view where I've already entered in three different contour levels. So the graphing, um, Advanced Graphing app allows us to enter in open sentences and we can think of each contour level as essentially an equation with our function on one side and uh, the z value um, on the other side. So here I have my function and I'd like to see where it intersects z equals 1 and then likewise down here where it would intersect the z equals 2 plane, z equals 3 plane and so on. So those will produce our contour levels. The first one will be graphed in blue then red for the second one and green for the third one. So let's go ahead and hit plot. So here is our uh, contour graph. Again, blue is the z equals 1, red equals red is the z equals 2, and uh, green is z equals 3 contour level. We can zoom out with the minus key. Um, and it's, it's zoomed based on our uh, cursor location. So notice how I move my cursor. If I move it closer toward the origin and press zoom out and then zoom back in, that's how it's zooming. On the actual calculator, it's not quite this instantaneous, but it does draw very, very quickly. So by zooming out, we can see a little more of the periodicity. And let's go ahead and zoom back in. Should we want to uh, switch over to a different Z level? So right now I'm on uh, the Z equals 1 contour level, we can go to the trace button and go to selection and choose um, one among those three open sentences. So this would give me the green contour level, for example. Now, it's a bit cumbersome because uh, I have to type in the same equation, go back and then edit this number every single time. And so um, I thought about putting together a program that would kind of automate this. Now granted, it's probably fairly quickly to do with the copy paste feature, you know, highlight this, go to shift, copy, and then you, we can go down here, shift, paste, okay, and then do the editing there, change that to a 4, and then hit plot. So that's not so bad. Um, what I've done is I put together a program that will uh, allow us to um, just type in contours, the function that we want, and a list of the actual z values, the contour levels that we want. So let's just go ahead and run this and see what happens. So here we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Z, that was the z equals 1, z equals 4, z equals uh, 9, 16, 25, and 36. Okay, and just like before, we can zoom, pan, uh, we can even switch the selection to, say, V5, and uh, that's pretty much it. The only thing that doesn't seem to work is this view. Um, if I select a different one, what will happen is it goes back to this, and there's a reason for that. If we go back to our symbolic view, I have my, my original formulas here. And so the way I wrote this program was to actually save the existing definitions so as to preserve what the user had. That way we can use, we can still use the uh, graphing app, the advanced graphing app, without actually changing these formulas. And this is good programming practice in general. You don't ever really want to mess with a user's equations and saved data. So if you can, try to preserve it, and that's what I've done. Um, but as a, as a you know, drawback to that, um, we cannot make use of this view menu. But we can do just about everything else. We can zoom in, out, without changing it. We can you know, type in coordinates and have it try to jump to the closest point. So let me just go ahead and uh, show you the source and just kind of share with you how I managed to program this. So here's the actual source. We first start by declaring a global variable called funks, plural of functions, I guess, or, or of the shortened function, uh, shortened down to f-u-n-c. Anyway, this is supposed to be our list of 
the user's current definitions. So that's where we're going to store them. And should the program act be, you know, weirdly, then the user can always manually go back and restore their old formulas um, fairly easily. Um, let's just add a little bit of spacing here for better legibility. So the contours command is what we create. Uh, it takes uh, the function and a list of z values. We expect the function to be a string and the z values to be a list of numbers. And all we do is we first um, we, we run a loop and what this loop does is it um, basically creates a command. Let me type it down here. The command is essentially something to the effect of v1 is equal is defined as uh, x squared plus y squared equals 3 for example. And so this little uh, statement here right here basically converts everything into a string and then runs the expression command Okay, so uh, that this basically gets stored into v1 and just prior to that what we do is we save okay we save the existing um, definition into one of these little spots in here after that all that's done we actually tell the program to go ahead and redraw the plot view and then immediately we have it restore everything, restore all the user's old functions. So basically it'll plot and once it plots uh, you can think of it as um, the app has stored our current list of uh, open statements into memory and uh, it restores the old functions back or the old um, open sentences back and as long as, as we stay in that plot view um, we're using the uh, the, the definitions that we created through this for loop. So that's really uh, the gist of this program. Or that's that's all there is to this program. It's it's not very complicated. It just basically saves the old definitions, then redefines a few of them, uh, executes the plot view, and then re immediately restores the user's old definitions. And as long as we're in plot view, then um, we can interact with the plot just like we would normally. Once we exit out of plot view, then everything is restored back to the original state prior to running the program. So that's that's it. Um, just for fun, let's do one last one. Let's uh, let's try this. Uh, I don't know. X squared. Oh no no. How about uh, x cubed? We'll do this one that I like. I like a lot. Times x cubed times y minus x times y cubed and let's do uh, say minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 and see what that does so there we are and zooming out we can see quite a bit of the contour levels so like I said as long as we are uh, in this plot view we can do anything that we would normally be able to do with advanced graphing but as soon as we exit out of there and go to the symbol definition all that is still kept intact okay and we can even run that command from a different app okay when we escape though notice that it changes to advanced graphing and that's because of the start app command there so that's it for this video I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in, and I will catch you all next video.